most investments are arranged so that the interest is paid not only on the original amount deposited or the principal, but also on previously earned interest. And interest paid in this way is known as compound interest. So besides the three factors that we use to calculate the amount of simple interest, compound interest also depends on what is known as the frequency of compounding, which means how often the interest is paid. There are several common uh, compounding frequencies. Uh, interest can be compounded annually, which means once a year, semi-annually, which means twice a year, uh, or quarterly, which means four times per year. Uh, it's also possible to compound more frequently. Monthly compounding is common. And even daily compounding. Uh, these days with computers to do the calculations, there's no reason not to compound on a daily basis. Okay, so for example, we have a $2,000 investment which pays 10% interest compounded annually and we want to find the value of the investment after three years. And before we move to this example I just want to say I realize this 10% here is uh, unrealistic these days but it does sim simplify the calculations which is uh, why we're doing it. Okay, so at the end of one year, this uh, investment has earned some interest. How much interest? Okay, so we have I is equal to BRT, so this is 2000. The rate is 10%. Convert that to a decimal, 0 0.10, and the time is one year. So the interest earned in one year is $200. Okay, so we add that into our principal, and we find that after one year, the investment is worth $2,200. Okay, but we're not done because we still have two more years for this investment to run its course. So, we need to repeat the calculation, PRT, only now our principal is not the original 2000, but 2000 plus the $200 interest that we earned in the first year. And the rest of the calculation is the same. We still have 0 0.10 for the rate and 1 for the time. So this works out to $220, doesn't it? Okay, so this $220 gets added back in to the account. And so then after two years, we have the amount is $2,200, which is what we had after one year lost the interest after two years and so we have now 2420. Okay, we need to do one more year. Okay, so we use the same formula only now we're using the 2420 and we get $242 in interest after the third year. Add that back in, and after three years,
the amount of this investment then will be worth uh, $2,662. $2, okay, so we see the effect of compounding is to earn us an extra $62.